I'm thrilled to have in in the in the house the wonderful Shannon McNally. Hello, Shannon. Welcome back to WWOZ. Thank you very much. So great to have you here. Likewise, so nice to be here. And who is here with you? This is Matt Rowland. Hey, Matt. Yes. Hi. Matt on piano. Yes, on piano. Okay. This uh, this first one is a song um, I wrote with a, a good friends of mine in Marfa, Texas. Uh, Terry Allen, an amazing songwriter. Um, he's a He's a Texas uh, dignitary. Beautiful, beautiful, vast catalog. So anybody's never heard of him, you should check him out. Okay. But this is called All These Blues. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it right. It's kind of early in the morning. Huh. Old song on the radio. Fuzzy clothes on a dress I drove. Mono hanging on the back of the bedroom door. Love letters hidden under the bed. Signs seen, never meant to be read. It all makes me blue. Love and things, but it don't. Seem to live or die, just can't find a reason why all these blues go walking by. New song. That was beautiful. Thank you. All right, you want to do another song? It, this is another new song. Yeah. Think of that. All okay. Right, so here you go. Well, Mama, come quick, come see what this man has done to me. Gypsy loving so sweet and dancing on his feet. Love down sound, it shimmers and it grooves. 
to the backwater blues Saving souls like a preacher with his good time news Down the road around the bend, coming back for me again Mama, won't you help me? Mama, won't you help me, help me, help me? Wonderful new stuff from Shannon McNally and uh, Matt Roland. Roland, and, um, and you have uh, one more song you want to do for us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do another one. What you gonna do? Uh, let's do. I must be in a good place now. All right. Bobby Charles tune. Yeah. <laughs> Wild apple trees blooming around. I must be in a place now sunshine coming through a rainbow colored sky it paints pretty pictures in my mind and oh what a good day to go fishing and catch the sunset in the hills and dream of my yesterdays and tomorrows and hope that you'll be with me still I saw a butterfly and I named it after you your name has such a Must be in a good place now. Go fishing 
and catch the sunset in the hills and dream of my yesterdays and tomorrows and hope that you'll be with me still I saw Such a pleasant sound. Love is all around, all I see is you. I must be in a good place now. I must be in a good place now. Must be in a good place now. There you go, the wonderful Shannon McNally in a good place here at WWOZ FM, where we're streaming this live over our uh, uh, Facebook uh, Facebook page. Facebook live. Facebook, yes, Facebook. there you go. The best kind of Facebook Live. There you go. Let, let, let's switch gears here. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think I speak for uh, so many uh, people when I say that your eulogy at Dr. John's memorial was just just beautiful. Thank you. And so, uh, so heartfelt. So. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you. He produced one of your al- co produced one of your albums. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the Small Town Talk. Yes. Of the songs of Bobby Charles. Bobby Charles, mm-hmm. yes. Tell us a little bit about working with, uh, with Dr. John. Oh, he was a master of masters. He was, uh, you know, the, the, there's the that way of working in the studio where basically you go in and, the, you know, that band knew it, knew each other so well. They'd played for together for so long. And every everything they individually played was a hook, and then the hooks would bounce off one another. So it's just brilliant on-the-spot orchestration, which, you know, he learned in the 50s working with Cosmo and just at the birth of rock and roll but um pretty much we'd learn the song we'd listen we'd listen to the original version we'd l- we'd kind of map it out we'd pick the right key we'd sort of walk through it once or twice and then boom we'd sing it and uh most of the, most of that most of those lyrics most of those uh, vo- vocals f- actually were came off the floor it was pretty live wow you know. and uh, but he working with him was uh, amazing you know he's a little he's a little intimidating there's no way around it he's a little scary um <laughs> but uh but amazing and uh just the, you know to the depths you know there's no there's no bottom <laughs> there's no bottom to Dr. John How did you meet Dr. John? I met him a number of times over the years. I first met him um at a Doc Pomus tribute in New York City that Hal Wilner put together uh-huh. uh for Doc's family and Doc Pomus and Dr. John were really dear friends. And um, so it was at this big cathedral in New York City. And um, I was terrified that I was on this bill. I was utterly terrified. And I thought, I did my thing where you try and make yourself as small as possible so nobody will see you and Uh you will stay out of the way and you won't get in trouble and you won't make a mess and all that stuff. And I thought I had sat in the farthest pew, like, imaginable. And Mac was on stage sound checking and I thought, and I had to go on after him. And I thought, this is oh. the dumbest thing I have ever done. <laughs> and uh, and you know, he kind of shuffled when he walked, and he came off. He finished up his song. He came off stage, and I didn't know exactly what to do. And they were all amazing people there, like real, you know, um, incredible singers and players. And and um, so Mac comes off the stage, and he's walking down the aisle, and he comes, and he comes all the way, literally comes all the way to where I'm sitting, and stops in front of me. And I was terrified, <laughs> and I realized I was sitting next to his bag. Like uh, I had uh. picked the one bag that <laughs> happened to belong to him. And uh, he said, I, "I didn't know what to say to him." So I said, I, "I like your cane. That's a pretty happening cane. It had all that mojo hanging on it. It was carved." He said, "Yeah, my friends in Angola prison made this for me, <laughs> cause they got time." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Yeah." yeah. What did you say to that? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> there yes, you go. Sir. And then how did you all? Uh, how did he come about producing uh, your album? Well, um, I, I met him another probably ten times between that point and then in 2007. 
they did a, a tribute for Bobby Charles at the, on the Line Yap stage at Jazz Fest. And uh -huh. Bobby called me and said, hey, why don't you do... Uh, by that point, we'd already recorded all these songs. No, we had not re recorded all these songs, but I'd become pretty good friends with Bobby. Uh -huh. And he says, well, why don't you come out and sing Tennessee Blues? Because I had cut that on Geronimo. And I said, all right. So when I drove out to Lafayette for the rehearsal um, and with Sonny Landreth and Marsha Ball and... The band was terrible, of course, and <laughs> uh, so we'd rehearse, and and uh, and Bobby, I didn't know if Bobby was gonna make it the next day. He just kind of had that look in his eye, like maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> so uh, the next day, I went out and did the gig, and Bobby didn't come. Right, I was in the audience. Yeah, I yeah, was he there. Didn't yeah. come. <laughs> so uh, my one song turned into a few more songs, and uh, I was on stage with Mac, and when we walked off stage. I just took the op we had a really good set. It was really fun. Oh, you killed, yeah. Oh, it was a great set, and uh, I just took the opportunity to say, "Hey, Mac, how about we make a record of Bobby Charles songs? I love that record y'all did in Woodstock, and you know it's out of print." And da 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 da. He said, "Yeah, that's a good idea." I said, "All right, great." And 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 that was it. And that was it. And yeah. then it just happened. And then huh? I just dogged him for the rest of the year, and we finally made the record. That was April, and we made the record in December. Really? I just kept him real close on speed dial. Hey, hey. When can we go in? When, when can we do it? Uh huh. So it happened in December. Fantastic! Yeah. What a fantastic record it is. Thanks. So, oh so. yeah, no man, what a great. He was making the the city that care forgot simultaneously. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. well, we're gonna play a a, a, um, a song off that record after I remind the folks that yeah. about uh, tonight. At Mid City Rock and Bowl, yep. you will be there with your band along with uh, uh, Roddy, Roddy Romero and the Hub City Austin. Yes, and then you'll be playing uh, tomorrow night in Lafayette at Rock and Bowl there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do uh, you want to do um, Long Face? Yeah, you can play that off the record. Yeah, you'll yeah, play it off the yeah the record. Yeah, uh huh. That's okay. one of my favorites. Tell us a little bit about that song, please. Well, um, Mac wanted to, th that's one of my favorites just because. Uh, he sort of, uh, he puts in a response, uh -huh. you know, everything I sing. And uh, it was one of the funnier things I've ever witnessed on earth. Um, but sweet, too. One of the sweetest things, too. What was it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dr. John in that sort of thing? Oh, he made me laugh and blush uh, and uh -huh. want to hide and uh -huh. very proud. And <laughs> it's terrifying. You know, it's those things that truly terrify you in the moment that you should you should probably do. There you yeah, go. Yeah, so it was really fun. I mean, he was my friend, you know. He was my buddy.